I have my Kindle. And do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It is book review time. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernies, and welcome back to Simply Niqua. So today, I have another book review for you guys. It's a book review that I'm so excited to talk to you about. It goes along with a series of books that have been doing book reviews on my channel. Can you guess which series? Tell me down below if you can guess right now. So if you're excited about this book review just like I am, go ahead and sit back and relax and continue watching and listen to what I have to say about it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this video. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so what book review am I going to do today? Well, the book review is going to be from the author, Kendall Ryan, one of my favorite authors that I read books from, and the book is called Trying to Score from the Hot Jock series. Like, ah! Okay, I am in love. So, let's go ahead and get jump right into what this book is about. And I'm right here, I'm going to put up what Kendall Ryan wrote in the About Me section in the back of the book. So you two can experience this awesome author, if you haven't already, the way how she writes. Because you just will get connected by just reading this part of the book without flipping the page. So, what is this book about? In this Hot Jock series, there is already Justin and Elise, and there's already Owen and Becca. So this book trying to score is about Sarah Dawson and TK aka Teddy King we gonna get on the names later on okay love it so the book is about them too Teddy and Sarah knew each other way back when in college and Teddy and Sarah are now being blackmailed really Teddy first because he's a hot jock hockey player and they being blackmailed about this explicit spicy video that Teddy and Sarah has done back in the college days and they're being blackmailed that it might get out and then this book is about them trying to figure out how to not not let this video get it out because it will ruin both of their careers if possible and at the same time this book shows how they are rekindled as more and more as a friend and see each other in a, a newer brighter light of today's world so that's really about this book is about but please stop pause and read this section so you can experience what I experienced before I even read a page of this book because this is this part is really awesome I really love that part so that's really what what this book is about. So this is the third book in the Hot Jock series. Like I said, it first was Justin and Elise, and it was like that sweet loving story, and they're all standalone books, so you can read them however order that you please. But I feel like Justin and, and Elise's book was like the first one, and the first story that you should read first, because it kind of like sets the atmosphere, sets the setting, and also sets up the friends and all that in the connections. So I believe that the, the first book is first book, even though you can read it however which way because each book ends their story and then it goes on to Becca and Owens and now yet Teddy and lovely lovely Sarah Dawson for one I really love their these two characters names and it just flows well with each other Sarah Dawson it sounds very iconic like yes and then TK and it's abbreviated from Teddy King Teddy King. I really like how she named the guy character in this book. Teddy King, Mr. King. I really love reading that every single time. So I just really love the names of this book. I like the other ones, they had a playlist in this book and it's really cool. At the end you can go back and listen to the music and you kind of get the grabs of what that or the vibe that Kendall Ryan wanted you to feel when you read this book. And if it just gives it more like interactiveness when you're reading it. So like I said, this book is a standalone book and it has 20 chapters and has an epilogue. So like I always say, I, I count the epilogue as a chapter and I love the ending of this book. Can I say the epilogue part is amazing. It just like this whole book was very spicy and, and it's way more spicy than the other ones. And it just ended off with the spiciness. And I really liked this one a lot. So the first one was sweet and... Well, all of them are sweet, and you like them all, but the first one was sweet. The second one, like, I connected more emotionally to it, and this one was just, like, really, really spicy. Uh, it's only 20 chapters, but you're going to fly through this book because it's so good, and you don't want to put it down. And it's very easy to read and to connect with, and you can... 
physically feel that this is a, a real thing that's going on and at the end like I feel like I really wanted to get to know this whole like set of friends like I just want to meet these the all these set of friends um to Justin and Elise, Owen and Becca, Sarah to Teddy and then Bailey, Asher and even Audrey. I just I would love to s just meet all these characters. I wish they were all real. Trying to score is really going to make you want to feel a certain way and it's just it's just it's just a really good book if you want to the spiciness of the romance but also like drama of what the characters have to go through and their dramaness of friends and all that stuff. If you really like that two together, you're gonna love this book and this whole book series, the Hot Jock series, you're gonna love that as well. This book is out today, November 12th, and you should get it as a regular book. And get it on the Kindle, do whatever. You should get it, especially if you read the other two books and in the Hot Jock series and loved them, you're really going to love trying to score. So it's out today. You should grab it, and as soon as you get done finishing my video, it's very worth your doll hairs, okay? It's very worth it. So I really recommend you to read this book and get this book yourself. I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it myself. I wouldn't have said it. But I do because it's so good. I really loved it. I wanted more of Sarah Dawson. I really wanted more of all of these characters um, in this Hot Jock series. And But I, you're just going to love Sarah Dawson and Teddy King. So this book review is spoiler free. So you can go ahead and pick this book up yourself. And you can get your own vibes with it. And get your own opinions about it. And all of that. So so just, that's why I only have said the basic stuff about this book. So you can enjoy this book yourself and see all the happiness and the secrets and all of that that's going on in this book that I haven't told you. And be surprised yourself while you read it. Um, you're going to love it for sure. So I really hope that you get this book and support Kendra Ryan and support this book series because it's awesome. And get trying to score today and to complete the third book in the Hot Jack series because... I really love it and I can't wait for the next book to come out in the, the Hot Jock series and I'm just excited. I love to read and I love to read this series. It was really it has been really really fun to get to know these characters and to just love all these characters because from all the other books you get to kind of like a glimpse of what these characters are about but once you get to experience who the two characters are one on one on in their Pacific book you get to know them even more so that's why Sarah Sarah Dawson you kind of you kind of uh, get a glimpse of who she is, but when you read the book, she's strong and confident and independent, and uh, you know she will do what she has to do for herself. But also, she wants to be cared for it and all like the lively things that we all want and can connect with but and Teddy King is strong and confident and um, independent as well but he also wants all the the fun things in life that we want as well so you can connect with him and you can both really connect with each character as you read the book and while you read you get to go in the minds of Sarah and then in the mind of Teddy so you get both of those point of views you get both of those connections you can jump in both of their minds so you can just see what they are thinking and feeling you can see the difference of who Sarah and who's Teddy and it's really really awesome I really love when books get to do that and I just love how each chapter is named a little uh, fun little title and I just really really like this book so so much so I really really hope that you guys will pick up this book today and I only did like a spoiler free so you, anybody who is clicking on this video just to see what I feel about it um, I wanted to be spoiler free so you can like read it yourself and find out everything for yourself I think that's only fair um, but if you want to any other questions or anything more in depth or want me to say you can go down below in the comments and I'll give you little secret secret things um, of what is about and how I feel about it and we can talk down in the comments down below so leave some comments down there but other than that thank you so much for watching and I hope you do pick up this book today it's great I love it you should do it anyways and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you back next week with another video bye